We usually write numbers in decimal form or base 10, meaning numbers are composed using 10 different digits, 0 through 9. Sometimes, though, it is useful to write numbers hexadecimal or base 16. Now there are 16 distinct digits that can be used to form numbers, which are 0 through 9 and then A through F. For example, a three-digit hexadecimal number might be 2B8, where the 8 is in the 16 to the 0 or 1's place value, the B is in the 16 to the 1st or 16's place value, and the 2 is in the 16 squared or 256 place value. Let's look at some questions. First, how many two-digit hexadecimals are there in which the first digit is A, B, or C? We're asked to calculate the answer using both additive and multiplicative methods. For the additive methods, we'll think of this as cases, meaning we'll determine how many two-digit hexadecimals begin with A, or begin with B, or begin with C. When we say first digit, we are referring to the digit on the left. So the number of two-digit hexadecimals in which the first digit is A is going to be 16. Since there are 16 choices for the second digit, anything from 0 through F. So there are 16 two-digit hexadecimals that begin with A, and then plus the number of two-digit hexadecimals that begin with B is also 16, and then plus the number of two-digit hexadecimals that begin with C would also be 16. And 16 plus 16 plus 16 is equal to 48. There are 48 possible two-digit hexadecimals. And now using a multiplicative method, we will think of this as two events, where the first event is to select the first digit, which has to be A, B, or C, and the second event is to select the second digit that has no restriction. So the number of ways we can select the first digit, which has to be A, B, or C, is 3, and then times the number of ways we can select the second digit in which there are no restrictions, meaning it can be 0 through F, there are 16 choices for the second digit. And 3 times 16, of course, is also 48, giving us 48 possible two-digit hexadecimals. Let's look at two more questions. How many three-digit hexadecimals start with B through D and end with 0 through 5? So here we'll use the multiplicative principle and think of this as three events, where we'll pick the first digit, the second digit, and then the third digit. So the number of ways we can select the first digit, which must be B, C, or D is 3, and then times the number of ways we can select the second digit, where there are no restrictions, and therefore the digit can be 0 through F. There are 16 choices or ways to select the second digit times the number of ways to select the third digit, which must be 0 through 5. There are six ways or six choices for the third digit. 3 times 16 times 6 is equal to 288. There are 288 possible three-digit hexadecimals that start with B through D and end with 0 through 5. And now let's look at the last question, where how many three-digit hexadecimals start with B through D or end with 0 through 5? So this question is a little bit more involved because of the or. This question is more involved because of the or and because there is overlap between the three-digit hexadecimals that start with B through D and those that end with 0 through 5. So to answer this question, we'll have to determine the number of three-digit hexadecimals that start with B through D and then we'll add the number that end with 0 through 5, but then we'll have to subtract the three-digit hexadecimals that start with B through D and end with 0 through 5 be because these numbers are counted with the ones that start with B through D and, and the ones that end with 0 through 5, and therefore they're double counted, which means we have to subtract them once. So let's determine the number of three-digit hexadecimals that start with B through D, where there are three choices for the first digit, B through D. No restrictions on the next two digits, which gives us times 16 times 16, and then plus the number of three-digit hexadecimals that end with 0 through 5. We need to be careful here. There is a restriction on the first digit. It can't be 0 because if it was, we would only have a two-digit hexadecimal. And therefore, there's only 15 choices for the first digit. No restriction on the second digit, so times 16. And then 
the ending digit must be zero through five, and therefore there are six choices for the ending digit. And then we have to subtract the number of three-digit hexadecimals that start with B through D and end with zero through five, which we found above. I'm gonna go ahead and write three times 16 times six, just to be consistent. And now let's go ahead and simplify. Three times 16 times 16 is 768, plus 15 times 16 times six is 1,440, and then minus three times 16 times six, we know is 288 from above. Simplifying, we have 1,920 three-digit hexadecimals. That start with B through D or end with zero through five. So notice how to determine this amount. We did have to apply the formula shown here that shows a cardinality of a union when these sets are not disjoint. I hope you found this helpful.